The race for governor in New York tighter now than it has been in this election season, and it's being watched quite closely across the country. Democratic incumbent Kathy Hochul until recently had a commanding lead over Republican Congressman Lee Zeldin. The latest polls show that the lead has been cut to 11 points in one poll and just four points in another. After interviewing Hochul yesterday, today I sat down with Mr. Zeldin to discuss why he wants the job and whether his support of former President Trump will hurt him in New York. This state now leading the entire country in population loss. We have to understand why that is. Why is it that a New Yorker is hitting their breaking point and choosing to flee? If they don't feel safe in the state, why is that and what can we do about it? And I know that we can hit the ground running uh, to get things going in the right direction to make our streets safer again. Crime and safety, as it is for all New Yorkers, is a top priority for Congressman Zeldin. That's what he says. And he says if elected, he plans to take an unprecedented step on day one. I have publicly pledged that my first action, my first day, will be to notify the Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg that he's going to be fired. I believe that there is a crime emergency in New York. I have publicly pledged that on my first day, if the state legislature isn't coming to the table, I will declare a crime emergency and suspend New York's cashless bail law. Why would you fire Mr. Bragg? He's a publicly elected official. Yeah, well, Alvin Bragg has uh, pledged, starting on day one, with his day one memo, not to enforce all different kind of, kinds of laws across the board, other laws he treats as lesser included offenses. Uh, we need a district attorneys who understand that DA stands for district attorney and not defense attorney. According to many polls, Congressman Zeldin has closed the gap with Governor Hochul over the past few weeks. One poll says 11 points, another says just four behind Governor Hochul. And this week, he was endorsed by a man he's been solidly behind for years. President Trump. Is Mr. Trump going to uh, campaign for you here? We don't have any plans for anything else. Do you think he's a liability into your campaign? Uh, there are people who strongly support him. There are people who strongly don't. But at the end of the day, it's Lee Zeldin against Kathy Hochul on the ballot. And for people who care about the future of the state, which is what this campaign is about, uh, I would look, encourage people to look at the contrast in positions. I, I oppose congestion we pricing. She supports it. The list goes on. Again, I sat down with Governor Hochul yesterday, and we aired some of that here on Eyewitness News. And you can watch my entire interviews with both Zeldin and Hochul on Up Close Sunday morning at 11 right here on Channel 7. The election, again, two weeks from Tuesday.